almost on time. <laughs> almost. Welcome on in, everyone. We we're gonna start with some nail art. We've got mostly plans. We've got naked nails already, and then we're gonna move into the twelve-hour challenge. Um. I'll I'll try to make a mental note now to like make a firm. Like, here's where the nail art ends, and here's where the gaming begins for my own sake, because it makes it a lot easier when I go to, like, make a highlight. But, um, gonna get started with the usual start of stream things. Um, Twitter, Discord, and, of course, inviting you, future people on YouTube, to subscribe, if you love nail art, to my simple little pleasures, this, this channel here. Or come follow me at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP if you would like to join me live. Um, so this is, um, what do I want to say here? Mm, we're going to be, we're going to be doing this combo, which we tried before. Um, I'll grab out my sketchbook in a minute too and show the previous swatch. And then we're going to st stamp something on top of it. And actually I didn't get it out yet, but I think it's right here. Ooh. Um, and we're going to stamp with one coat black. So, um, can we spell today? Um, tweet. Okay, let me get a Discord posty posted thingy doodle. Hey, son. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Okay, sorry, sorry. Trying to find my correct place that I need to be in Discord so that I can let everybody in Discord know that we are doing the thing. Okay. Discord is done. Twitter is done. Hi, Amethyst. Um, okay, we've got T here, which I probably should put over here. And uh, does this need to be plugged in? Yes, of course it does. Oh no. <laughs> Not a fun task. Uh, at least that, I mean, doesn't sound like a fun task. So let me pull out the polish sketchbook. When we were doing um, the Hollow Taco swatches, um, we started playing around with uh, this flaky which is he on its own here. Like these two are combined into this one. Where did my black notebook go? But I think what the plan, I, I know I have another swatch of this. This is, let me turn this around. This, this actually might benefit from some flashlight time. Um, it's not hollow, but I don't feel like this light is particularly showing the flakies off to their to their best advantage. Ooh, there we go, a little bit better. Um, and then we're going to stamp. I don't know yet what we're going to stamp, so that's the main thing that we need to decide. And then, whoa. Okay, the camera almost just, like, grabbed a bottle of polish. Let me get this on here so we don't have to worry about it. Sorry for the shaking. I should have done this before I started, but I was trying so hard to be on time, you guys. So close. So close to being on time. Okay. So. Image plates. I mean, I'm thinking full nail, probably. Um... Sometimes I get torn too. It's like, you know, use like images that are like, oh, of course, the camera's going to be having fits with the reflections here. But like use image plates that are more uh, <laughs> like f known favorites or like branch out and try some, some other image plate. So 
just keeping in mind what color it's going to be, I'm just looking to see if anything in particular catches my eye. See, like a butterfly wing might be cool. But then I would be like wanting to do like more extra detail. Plus butterflies aren't actually like, I mean, I've done a, I've done a pretty sparkly butterfly before, but butterflies are, are not in fact sparkly. this one god i just keep pulling out plate after plate with butterflies on it are you trying to tell me something no it just it's a coincidence see some i and i want like i want plenty of room for like the flakies and stuff to show through so gradient turquoise to purple oh, i love that combination oh no snowflakes that's that's not happening um no. These are like little French tippy designs. I don't think that's quite what I would want to go for. And so are these. Mm. Why, why sad face, Dr. Crotron? Do, do, you, do you really... A co-op 12 hour how would that whoa how would that even work I don't know what I'm doing for my 12 hour challenge yet you guys um <laughs> I want to do it and I'm like I mean we we have some options we'll be thinking about that and and deciding that for sure after we do the nails um I feel like this one could be kind of cool, but it it still just isn't quite right. <laughs> See, the thing is, I mean, there actually is a speed run for uh, Rumpy Pumpy, aka Final Fantasy Tactics, but I feel like I should beat it casually first, and I mean, I'm a long, long way from beating it casually to be able to attempt that speed run. Um. Tetris, I mean, Tetris also has a speed run, but basically that just, I, I don't know. I suppose there are speed runs for individual levels and then maybe like, oh, the tropical plate. Hmm. We'll consider that. So, multi-world is like, everybody it, it's uh, number one it's on old rando dock uh it's not on new rando it's on old rando basically i mean it, it's separate I, i'm i'm whoa you might even have to like disable rando for it to work but um so i go to um i fight i go well i can't go fight Moloch because Moloch isn't a drop but you know you get the idea you go fight fail failed champion or false knight and you pick up mothwing cloak but it's not your mothwing cloak it's my mothwing cloak and you picking up my mothwing cloak allows me to go dash into like fungal wastes and go find your wings at leg eater <clears throat> the horrible thing luke played mm. Sons of Anna, Old Rando too. Hi, Karen. And kittens, thank you for the host. Can can one of the mods do the thing, please? Um, I do love this roses plate, but I don't feel like it's quite right for this these colors that we're about to have going on. Um, and it can be with more than two people. It could be with like a whole bunch of people. But basically, it's just you—you you have to work with your teammate to to get your shit. Or, I mean, you—you you also can find your own shit because I watched um, Ash and Wesker do one, and uh, she was getting frustrated. She swore that what was it they were looking for? Something of hers was in his—it was in his world. 
but it turned out to be in her world but he did have to find her like wings in order for her to get there i mean it's it can be complicated i th- i think it sounds cool if you have like a good team that communicates of course i mean it's it's not even all just all communication but it's just like i don't know following the logic in a whole new different way in order for your whole team to to be able to win i i really thought i would be finding more plates that i was like oh that would look nice with this or this is this is a good option here i'm really not like super in love with any of these I feel like the bright color really needs... Well, I mean, it's a bit early to go there. It's the jack-o'-lantern plate, and it is a mess, and I'm not ashamed, because that's just what happened. They got put away dirty. At least they were put away. Ooh. Ooh, what Ooh, what about this one? Mmm. I like that. I think that's a top that's a top option right now. The, hey Nisi. Um and, and as far as okay, so like that's like the multi world explained in brief. Like the twelve hour challenge, like I I think that would be cool, but what kind of a co- what kind of a game could we learn together? I'm nervous. So the thing I'm nervous with the 12 hour challenge is like, I've considered like some new games. Um, but then I'm like, what if I can't actually beat this game within 12 hours? Like, I'm not that good of a gamer. Part of me is like, I really should pick a game that like, I've at least, I'm, I'm, I know already that I'm somewhat capable of playing. Oh, wow. Kittens. That's awesome. I've got I've got the air going right now because it's really really humid. I uh, would be very very uncomfortable without it. So did my explanation of multi world multi world did did it make sense, Doctor Crotron? I hope. Okay, so these two plates are are contenders. We've got Kaleidoscope Collection, and we've got Tropical Collection. Like, mainly I'm looking at, like, this flower right here. Camera. Ooh, there's my ceiling. You almost can see the image plate. Come on, camera. I know it's shiny. I'm trying to minimize the glare. It just doesn't want to... just doesn't want to let you guys see. Um, I mean, I think I already mentioned my nails are naked already. We need, we need zoom, don't we? You guys are far away. Mm. Should have had this open already. Oh, that's my shirt. Oh, there we go. It's actually focused on the plate. It's really hard to show you guys the design. There. I don't know why. I just, I like the thought of that flower pattern on this color combination. Oh, lost it. Lost the focus. Um, I'm not sure if I should like center it. Well, how long are my nails right now? That flower is going to take up most of the nail. Do I want this pointy thing included? Do I want that like on the tip of my nail? This, uh. Like this, uh, long petal right here. Because it's different on this side. Oops. Sorry. Off camera. Like up here, you've got the two long ones. Oh, camera. Please. I know it's so hard and shiny. Anyway, there's two up here and there's a one down here, so I'd have to pick. Or do I want to like 
accent like do i want to like include that point or do i want to like avoid that point is the question let's uh let's do a test oh don't it was just like shoo, slid right off the chair <clears throat> Pitfall. I've heard of that game. I don't know that game. Poetic. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That was my phone. I really shouldn't have tried to catch it because, you know, that can go poorly. Oh, let's get another napkin for my acetone. And I'll have to actually get some acetone. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, son. I don't know, Doc. It sounds like we might break into teams, and then I don't think the chat would be so chaotic if it was. If it was uh, a little bit fewer people. I just don't know, though, because I feel like, I don't know. Like the 12 hour challenge. I need, I need to be able to, I want to, I want to prioritize that. I, I kind of want to race. If I can just get this nail art done relatively quick, I mean, we can get started on the 12 hour challenge as soon as I pick a game, but I don't know. I'm, I'm quite interested in the multi-world, so I kind of don't want to miss out. Um... Get our little mini lint roller, make sure we're nice and clean. <laughs> All right, can you guys? I'm going to be going like way over here. I'll try to pull that in a little closer. Maybe I can, there, that'll work. <clears throat> Excuse me, too. I just realized I'm sounding a little bit hoarse. Alright, we're trying to fill in as much. Oh, I should have done a sticky wall. Um. <gasps> God. Am I uh, coordinated enough to stamp today? There's a few gaps there, but that was like a horrible scrape and stamp, and I'm just knocking shit over. Oh my God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again. That was poor all around. And before we do it, let's put some yellow stopper down. My yellow stopper is getting pretty low. I should probably consider like hitting some more. So, like, um, the smell down to two spots. The tub drain. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I mean, you could you could get all in there, or you could like do like maybe a home remedy or something, amethyst, like some kind of baking soda and vinegar concoction or something. Oh, oh. So. You see these little gaps? Like in the... In the longer part, like this, like little... I thought they were like missed stamps. Turns out they they actually are in there. They're, oh, if this thing doesn't... There. They're in there. They're intentional. They're part of the design. Well, shit then. That was like a flawless stamp. Who knew? 
Um, let's let's go this way. Yeah, this one's pretty clean too. I got a couple little edges on the flower. That's really nice. It looks like a turtle. You could, you could like, okay, I just had like the best idea, but we're not doing it now. But like, dude, if you painted that, like in tur like you stamped it and did like some reverse stamping, like painterly shit, a hundred percent, you could make that look like a turtle. I'm not tripping, right? Tell me you guys see it. We got to do that later. We got to do that later. This is coming as a turtle. I mean, it would placement would be tricky. P the painting would be all the thing. You could you could do them as decals. Ooh, we could do them on the mat, you guys. And then we could like apply them so that like some of them would like come down from in here swimming and some of them would come from up here swimming and maybe this one you see like the butt end. Dude, we're doing turtle nails. Not now, like later. Let me write myself a note. Who knows how long this will be before we make it happen. What is this? Kaleidoscope. Oh, this isn't long enough. Oh, just squeeze it in there. Hmm, what is today? The second? The, th the third. Third. Let's just... Sh nope. Mm, 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 mm. Notes. Power of notes. Mm. Yeah, no, no, it's gonna be on a blue. Dude, just imagine like a blue, like one of those kind of stripy drag marbles that you can. Oh, that would be a lot of work though. And then like make the turtles as a decal. And then uh, like just apply them like swimming through the blue drag marble. That's cool. Who was looking for something like that the other day? I saw somebody ask a question and I know nothing about it. So I didn't have anything to add to the conversation. Karen. <laughs> I was Karen. Okay. Okay. So picturing this used as the flower that it's intended to be on this color. What direction... Do we want to place this? I mean, some of my nails will fit like a goodly amount. I think we want to put this point toward the tip of my finger. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, I mean, I know I I had kept seeing people talk about maybe I should clean this up since it's going to be on film. Kind of. Um, people talking about some site that like everybody liked got shut down. So like everybody's looking for a replacement. How many do I still what did I do with the uh, hmm, this one too. Okay, we are getting slightly cleaner here. Your mom. <laughs> That's great.
Yeah, my mom actually probably would like that too. She went ahead and binged watched herself all the Studio Ghibli shit. So she has an introduction to anime. Okay, there, that looks nice. I guess I should maybe do that more often. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just completely in my own little world, mostly off camera, y'all. Look how nice we are now. Do we have the... Whoa. Well, where did it end up then? The uh, almost empty box of Q-tips. Where is it? Hold on. Yep. Ah! Dang it. The phone, the phone didn't make it. The phone finally hit the floor. Okay. Restock our Q-tips. <laughs> I got a cat hair quite close to my eyeball oh this is now the actual end is that enough? well let's hope so recycle that later okay so let's close this I think this is going to be fairly opaque I don't feel like I probably need to do a white base with this let's take it Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, fresh paper towel. <laughs> Stay paper towels. Okay. Um, I do have a little bit of protective polish on this nail and one other one so let me just clean that off I don't have any cotton or I would use cotton so you just have to use a q-tip this is the one that has a couple of stress lines on the side and this is the one that is peeling at the tip so I've had my nails naked the past couple days, but I did give them both just like base coat and top coat just so that they weren't like exposed and just to help protect them and keep from breaking them, catching them on anything. This one especially is a little bit snaggy. Hmm kind of hard to see the brakes right now but well they're not they're not brakes they're like pre brakes we've talked about it. they're little stress lines <clears throat> hey yo you don't you don't have to pogo on the spikes you can go up the other way. It's like to teach you how to use your wings. Like you you go up and you go on the walls, amethyst, and then like like slide off the wall and dash and wings up on the other side of the wall. Is the best way I can describe it. The spikes and any any of the pogoing stuff is like go fast strats. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's a movement you got to get used to. Because you, if you go too early, then you don't wings. 
And if you go too late, then you start to drop, and then you you don't wings high enough. All right, almost done with the clean off. And then we shall start recording a tutorial, which will unfortunately need editing at some point later in its life. I hate editing so much. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Are you guys good or do you want to be a little bit closer? I should probably make you a little bit closer. Mm. Oh, no! I don't exactly understand what that means, but I infer from Brownie Face that it is not a good thing. <clears throat> Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. Okay, nice. Thin coats. I've been getting pretty good wear out of ready for takeoff lately. So, trying to keep my application uh, consistent. Okay. Almost done with the left hand. So Dr. Crotron. I know you said you were stumped yourself and I know you just said maybe like the year like have the twelve hours a yearly thing. Is that because you're having trouble settling on a game or because you just don't feel like learning another speed run? I feel like learning speedruns sometimes is very interesting and fun, but I'm just having trouble picking a game. I'm picking a game that, like, I actually... Whoa, where'd that hair come from? Is that part of the brush? Get off. Almost looked like an eyelash. Um, Like, settling on a game and having it be a game that I can, like, actually complete... Like, I considered Mario 2, because you know I have Mario 2. But I've never beaten that. Like, I don't know if I can beat that. I was so cocky and confident going into Mario 1, and that taught me. Where cockiness and confidence gets you. Yeah, but you don't have to follow the suggested theme. I mean, I'm unlikely to, unless it's coincidentally. A lot of people don't. I've seen a couple people already learning Hollow Knight for the 12-hour challenge, which I think is awesome. Yeah, that's the thing, too. It's like, I want it, I don't want it to be just like a grind for 12 hours. I want it to be like something fun. I don't know, and actually, like, a couple of my options that I'm considering are on my Genesis, which, full disclosure, I haven't actually confirmed if that still works. <laughs> mm. So, 
And then there's race night too, and I know everybody loves race night. And I enjoy race night too. So the the indecisiveness is super super real for me right now. Um oh wait, I shouldn't open this yet. Um, what is this anyway? Clay on words. This is Devil's Stare. Woo! And of course, One Coat Black. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're dry enough. <clears throat> The colors that I'm going to be using today are from a variety of brands. This kind of neon orange is from Finger Paints. It's called Clay on Words. Then the fiery flaky color is Devil Stare. It's a Sinful Colors polish. And then for the stamping, I'm going to be using One Coat Black from Hollow Taco. Okay, so I'm really hoping I'm right and I can get away without a a white base. A lot of times neons require a white base to really get them to pop, but I think hopefully this is opaque enough that in two coats we'll be good. It's a very pretty bright orange. It's got like a little tiny bit of a shimmer to it. I saw that felt that piece of fuzz. I don't know where it went. Oh, it seems so early for that amethyst. Hi, Music Al. Welcome on in. I don't remember hating shopping for school clothes. I mean, I I hated school with a passion, but I, I'm still one of those people that loves, like, fresh new notebooks and pens and pencils and stuff so that part was like the best part it was like the only good part oh there it is that piece of fuzz i think i got it it's like invisible <laughs> ah, butt spot. Is there anyone you haven't called butt? <laughs> Okay. This is drying pretty quick. You can see it's drying down kind of like matte. Whoa, that was, that was a close call. It's it's more um, It's brighter. Yeah, tutorial camera is having slightly better luck with this one, although it's not quite capturing it either. 
it's a it's a weird neon type of an orange it's not like the traditional neon orange it's like redder than that Oh yeah. Look at that. That's awesome coverage in two coats for a neon. And it doesn't have to be like flawless. Cause we're going to be putting the uh, flakies on top. You do have to be a little bit heavy handed and mindful. And if I were wearing it on its own, I probably would finish off with one more coat. But for the base of the flakies, and then that's the base of the stamping, I think it'll be fine. August 14th. These ones. Devil Stare. Come on, camera. It's trying. It's not there. Oh, come on. Look there. You can focus on the barcode. Focus on the barcode. Barcode's not too shiny for you. Usually. No, it doesn't. It doesn't want to. It's too shiny. August 1st. Holy crap. I'm like, really? That seems so early to me. Like, it's still summer, dude. I don't know why I'm like so quiet and concentrating on these other than that it is oh come on camera quit being such a jerk today it is somewhat of a tricky formula like it's not it doesn't really self level very much like I feel like my ring finger here is very patchy if I go like that you can kind of see Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's not quite as orange as that camera is wanting to show it. It's like this is just whatever camera I put it in front of is just screwing with the white balance so much. It's got like an under shimmer of pink. It's like a it's like a neon cantaloupe almost. I would I would go so far as to say. I'm kind of cautious too. I'm wondering if I should like do a top coat in between this third layer and the stamping because sometimes neons like they get this satiny matte look and you think they're dry and then like you touch them or you stamp on them and then it's like a disaster. Not at all, Dr. Kurtron. <laughs> hmm. Camera, both cameras, just give it me attitude. Come on here, camera. Focus. There we go.
So, will we end up with one or two coats of this? Oh, that's what's up, y'all. Oh, the camera just doesn't even know what to do with that. You kind of got to glom it on. I don't want to sponge it on because I don't want it to be like opaque. Plus, because, like, the, the base is, like, a red jelly, which I think, like, I don't want to absorb all that away. Like, that's nice. Mm. Fast and won't hurt. This is true. Are you guys loving this as much as I am? You guys aren't getting the full effect. We're we're going to have to have some flashlight time, I think. I'm just kind of glomming it on there in a massagey type of fashion. If that makes any kind of sense. Mm. Being mindful of the sides, too. Cause, I mean, the, the stamp is going to cover some but you can't count on it like going all the way to the sides or going in any particular places that you like screw up your applications so you got to have good application regardless hello there we go oh yeah, I love this. Again, like high level concentration. Just trying to get this like even. And the, the level of thickness that this is like convinces me the top coat is probably like a really good idea. Yeah, uh, Devil Stare and then the, the finger paints is clay on words. Yeah, this uh, this uh devil stare flaky does of course also look phenomenal over black. Um, but I thought this combination was just really really like summery, fiery. Oh, camera, come on. Let's try this. Um, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Wow. Now it's trying to give you some of the sparkle. All unfocused and unlit. Oh, phone, you're like impossibly slow. Impossibly slow. does not want to focus at all i don't feel like the flashlight is as friendly for flakies as it is for hollows i'm kind of surprised i thought it would do better i'm just not gonna be able to capture this on camera you guys i i pre-apologize because that's always like super frustrating
Like... The goldiness that's in there is apparent on my nails, but not on my nails in the camera. Can, can we focus at all, camera? Seriously, camera. Um, depending on what it is, you might still get a content ID doc on YouTube. Because they run them on live streams also, even private ones. Okay, making sure to get this edge over here, which I always have such a hard time seeing. Yeah, they're not, I feel like they're not highly, highly iridescent. I mean, they're, they've got a couple colors going on. They're mostly just like red and gold. It's showing them pretty well, like in the bottle. I just don't understand why I can't show them that well on the nail. Trying to make sure we've got an even glom going on here. Like, see how that droplet has just like, whoa, not the droplet that landed on the nap and droplet on my nail. Can we focus? No? Oh yeah. Wow. Can we make my cuticles look any more dry? But look at all that depth in the droplet. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, for like two seconds, you guys could see for like two seconds. I guess I just need to get like all up in the camera's grill. Or really, really massage the autofocus. I only said that because I know Dr. Protron hates it when I say that. <laughs> Mm, okay. This is not an even glom. We need like... There. That's better. I'm gonna try and... Once I, once I finish this hand, I'm gonna try and get another good close-up. Because it was phenomenal! Anybody that blinked and looked away is like, oh. <laughs> it really is like, it showed it for like two seconds before it just was like, nope. This is, there, that's a little better. A little bit better. Still pretty freaking messy. Okay, one more, then we'll see if we can get this thing to cooperate. I'm definitely like more glomming than stroking. Whoa. Mm. 
Make sure to wrap your tips, ladies and gentlemen. Especially the gentlemen. Okay. It's messing with the white balance, too. I'm just noticing. Let's, uh... Let's turn off the white balance, because I feel like that's... There. Still not, like, 100% of what's going on, but much closer than, like, what you were able to see. I should have known this was going to happen, because I had such a hell of a time with the uh, purple one with the teal there like the gold is so much more prominent in person and on, on camera it's like you gotta really just struggle to get the right angle to get it to okay <laughs> oh, I got Okay. Mm, so cool. Yeah, let's just do this. Just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. That's doing lovely nice things also, I do have to say. Scoop. Yeah, I think this will make it better to stamp on too because it'll be smoother. I mean, stamping is always easier on a smooth surface. I mean, it's doable on, like, a textured surface, like, as textured as I'd say, like, a pixie dust. But, you know. Just, like, drawing on textured paper, I, was I would imagine, is, like, a little bit more difficult than drawing on smooth paper. Although I'm not a drawer. Mostly, so what do I know? Oh, it's so juicy and bright. Glom. <laughs> Fight the glom. What? 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 You guys, oh my god. <laughs> I've smudged three nails. Three. One. Two. Three. The fuck? How? So much fuck. <sighs> okay. Let's just dab a little bit of that in there. I 
I literally don't even know what I did, though. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, that was dumb. Shouldn't have done that. Haha, <laughs> no wonder. Like, I don't even know what I did. This is true, music gal. Thank goodness. Still can't see the flakies properly, but I think you can tell the difference in smoothness. But you can tell it's still not completely smooth because the ring light still looks like it has dimples. I really, I don't know what I did there. I mean, I wish I did so I could, so I could avoid it going forward. I don't see, like, I feel like I should see something with nail polish on it, but maybe it might be that I just knocked my fingers into each other. That's the thing that could have happened. <clears throat> trying to give this just like at least a minute to dry a little bit feel like some of this just needs to come all that ah, there we go push to the side man i am such a klutz i really really am I mean, it does reinforce my decision that, like, top coat is a thing that should be done. And what you guys told me to do, you guys always have a nice level head when it comes to nail art. But, like, obviously, like, if it's that delicate, I could have smooshed and damaged the hell out of it trying to stamp it. Okay. <sighs> I feel like it's very lopsided too because some of it just got like smooshed to the side. That. like a putty consistency super weird okay so we did not have to repair the ring finger or the thumb I'll give the other ones like a few more minutes so that I don't destroy my repair by trying to go over it too quickly Ooh. Yeah. This is what's happening. This is a really good shot. Hmm. Okay. We'll just we'll just spend this dry time trying to get angles of where the camera will focus. Ooh, um, almost. Ooh. I don't understand. Oh. I'm so impatient right now with Wanda Topcoat, the ones that I just fixed, Musical. <laughs> Such a dangerous urge. We're going. We're going for it. There, see, it's fine. Just light, light touch. I have too. I definitely have. Thankfully, today was not one of those regretful days. 
All right, now we'll give it a moment more before we like actually trust that it's dry and we're ready to like go stamping. I can never quite get away from trying to like work with the when when it just insists that it's too shiny to focus on, and I'm like, no, come on, how about if I move it this way? How about how about if I go at this angle? How about if we just do one finger at it? Ooh, oh, ooh. It's a, it's very satisfying when I do actually get it to cooperate. I guess that's why I keep continuing to try. Okay. I think we're safe to try and stamp now. And thank you, Nisi, if I did not say thank you. Now, nah, we just need to hope that the stamping goes well. So, <laughs> we are going to do this flower right here. This is for anyone that wasn't here earlier. We stamped it and we discovered another manicure to be had because it looks like a turtle. But we're making a flower today. But eventually we're going to come back and paint it and make it a turtle this design um i'm thinking that this will be the tip of the nail so it'll be like placement i'm trying to decide if i want to like include that or if i just want to like mainly focus on the flower on my nail but like my most of my nails are like slightly longer than the flower and i feel like it makes kind of more sense to try and use that part than to try and use that end. Hmm. <laughs> You're close, Amethyst. You're close. Yeah. No, I think... I'm, I'm, I, I know there are ways to like do like the whole shrinking thing. I think I'll just have them be like partially on the nail, like swimming in from the side and then do like, if I'm up to it, like a drag marble blue and white background. Hey, Prismatic Sky. This is these two, um, Clay on Words and Devil's Stare. And it looks a lot like this looks in the bottle and the camera hates everything shiny. <laughs> I want that might actually be interesting though to try and shrink some of them and then have some of them like larger and off the this this is gonna turn into a whole a whole shebang as they say probably nobody actually says that but um no wait this way this way for the camera <clears throat> yeah thank you enjoy your lurk prismatic Okay. Okay. Trying to see where we can get less. Like that, kind of. <clears throat> For my stamping today, I'm going to be using the Kaleidoscopic Collection plate number. Six. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that is what it says. For a minute, I thought I was mispronouncing it because it's upside down to me. It is a little bit for you, but it's not on the tutorial camera. I'm just trying to get it. The The glare is different on both of them. So for a minute, you guys will probably be out of focus. <clears throat> just trying to get like the whole thing visible with as minimal glare as possible. 
for stamping today, I'm going to be using the kaleidoscopic. I said it better the first time. Also, hello, Daggett. For stamping today, we're going to be using the kaleidoscopic plate number six from Moyu London. I'm going to be using this flower down here in the corner. And as I mentioned at the start, we're going to be using Holo Taco One Coat Black as my stamping polish. I'm going to go ahead and get it applied all into the design, making sure to hit those corners so we don't have any gaps or blank spots. And I'm going to go ahead and scrape, stamp, and then I'm going to aim the kind of center pointing petal <gasps> oh no oh no oh no okay no it's fine 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 where's the tape 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 it's fine it's not an emergency or anything it's fine we accidentally touched the nail but it's fine <laughs> Um, I'm not. Where can I? Okay, phone. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Come on. Oh, what happened to this? Oh, come on. Come on! I'm gonna have to use acetone, aren't I? I mean, we got top coat, so it's fine. But why won't you just do this for me? I waited too long, probably. Or one coat black is just too damn powerful. Fucking A, dude. Where's my acetone? Here. We're saving it, Daggett. No ifs. I'm super disappointed. That the tape didn't work, but we can we top coated, so we have we have some wiggle room. All right, so secret with this, especially with the pigmented black like this, is don't overuse acetone and don't overuse the same spot. Like you want to capture it on your Q-tip and then like move on to a clean spot. there everything's fine you guys nothing at all to be worried about nothing at all everything's fine everything's fine and super lovely it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I have had mixed results with tape on the nail. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Let's let's go to a clean section. Of the napkin. Bloop, like it never even happened. Never happened, you guys. What mistake. <laughs> okay. I gotta go through all this again and find the proper correct angle. And try to pronounce kaleidoscopic again. For today's stamping, we're going to be using the Kaleidoscopic Plate Number 06 from Moyu London. I'm going to be using this flower design here, and as mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using One Coat Black from Holo Taco for the stamping polish. I'm going to go ahead and apply a pretty generous amount, making sure to get in all the cracks and crevices. Don't want any gaps in the design. Go ahead and scrape pick it up on my stamper and then I'm going to line it up on my nail with the bottom of the flower toward the bottom of my nail and the kind of long petal toward the tip of my nail like that 
Not going to get much of it on my pinky, but on my other nails, I'll be getting more of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and once I'm done with all my nails, I'll be using tape to clean up around the edges since I was too lazy to apply latex. That's what we're going to do. That one little flyaway area is freaking me out. I want to go like that. Okay. Mm. Get off there. I forgot to clean my stamper. Still got a decent pickup, so it's okay. It's okay. All right. Like that. What do you guys think? Do you like the placement? Might have to wait and see after I've cleaned up. I like it though because you'll get like extra bits of orange at the at the top corners. Sorry, it's a little harder for you guys to see inside the barrel. I'm playing to the other camera. We're almost done though. Get maybe the last two nails on this hand and then I probably won't record on the other hand. Whoop. That would have been a gouge if we didn't have any sesh feet on there. Did you guys see that? I just like rammed into my nail with the scraper. Mm -hmm. And one more for the thumb. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here because I think if I'm not... I think I might have to give a little bit more room at the cuticle or I might run out of stamp at the tip of my nail. I almost did on my middle nail. Like, you guys, oh come on camera. There's like a spot right at the very tip where it like almost didn't. Almost didn't cover, but it did, but it almost didn't. So I want to make sure that the thumb, I mean, the design isn't a complete pedal, but I want to make sure that what design there is goes all the way to the tip. Hmm, actually, maybe it'll be fine. I'll go like this. Oh, so you see that? All right, let's <laughs> ew. But also, look at look at how easy this is. Um, you guys that have that have been through this experience, I think, can appreciate this. Um, not a struggle. One coat black. I don't understand how it's this pigmented and it cleans up that well. Like, I, like, I literally don't get it. Alright, we're gonna get, like, a piece of tape. I mean, I did. I honestly didn't even consider 
latex today. I don't even know why. I mean, tape is not, it doesn't take zero time. You know, the, the tape does take some effort. A lot of people keep wanting me to do the, the cuticle ball method too, which I'm just not too into. I don't know. If I were going to use any protection, it would probably be latex. But I'm not today because... I don't know. It probably would have evened out to be about equal. <laughs> really, all things considered. Mm. You know, instead of sitting here edge by edge. I could have made myself a, a tape cone. Ooh, that's what I should have done. Those are so easy to use. Maybe that's what I'll do on my other hand. Ooh. Oh no, my tape folded in half. Works pretty good though. <laughs> we already discussed protection and tip wrapping earlier. <laughs> oh. If you can get pretty close in there. You gotta be careful where you touch the tape though or you know you take the stickiness and then too once it's stuck on your skin a couple times even if it doesn't have polish on it like it could have lost a lot of its stickiness this is not bad I'm okay with this I will finish the rest with uh, my usual small brush dipped in acetone. Mm. Oh, <laughs> how long is your hair, Daggett? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for those who don't know, Daggett has some some fairly curly locks. Not quite as curly as like mine, but still curly enough that I'm sure he has to do a little bit more than just hop in and out of the shower. Okay, so we've got a whole other hand to stamp. Yeah, I'm not. You know what I think I should have done? I think I should have placed the pinky lower so that I had that little shape at the tip. What do you guys think? You know what I mean? It's inconsistent. Just YouTube it, dag it. Yeah. I mean, am I tripping? I mean, it just, it seems glaringly to me. You know what we'll do? We'll do it on this hand and then we'll see how it looks. And if it looks just so fucking good, we'll just have to redo it. Or if I still have the energy to do that by the time I'm done stamping this hand. It's going to be a meticulous removal. So that it would look like, whoa, 
Sorry. I have to get off camera for this particular angle that I need. Like that. Versus. Huh? That looks really, that looks so much better. We're going to have to redo it. We're, we're going to just have to redo it. <laughs> Dang it, don't, you don't, you don't see the difference between this one and this one. It's the little thingy at the tip, which all the other nails have at the tip because they're longer than the pinky nail. <sighs> Boys. <clears throat> I decided that I did not like that the pinky nail didn't have the extra petal near the tip, so we're going to redo it. I'm going to very carefully remove the black stamping with a Q-tip. And I'm able to do this because of that layer of sesh veet that helped not only to dry at the bottom layer, but to give me a little bit of protection if the stamping needs to be redone, as I think it does. And again, we're trying to use like clean sections of the Q-tip. Need another new one. Now that I point it out. Went pretty well, y'all. Sling. It's one of my favorite sound effects, and I have no idea why I use it very often to inappropriate, perhaps, effect. <laughs> All right, so can we keep it on camera this time? It's really now like right here, like that. Now it matches. Go ahead and do our little bit of cleanup. Come on here. I think it might actually. I was going to say come off a little better once it's dry, but that was a pretty clean one. All right. We'll just get the rest of that one with, uh, Acetone. Since it's being kind of very, very stubborn over here. Oh, we've done and got ourselves a mess again. Okay, so that went pretty well. I'll count that as a definite win. More acetone is required. Ooh, there's a do there's a Daggett picture. Oh no, it's a Daggett video. I want to watch, but like I actually already know, so <laughs> I don't know why I feel some FOMO. Like I'm not seeing the video. Okay. 
Okay, so we have four nails to go. Then we're going to need some additional more top coat. And we're getting closer to needing to make our decision. So you guys... What are you interested in seeing? Should I do 12 hour challenge stuff tonight? Assuming I can get my shit together and like make a decision. Or should I do race night stuff tonight? Multi-world. And multi-world is where you, you find your teammates items in your world sometimes. It's very confusing. Ooh, D and D. Okay, we got something weird going on with the brush here, but I think it's my fault. I'm trying to just get it back. It's my fault because I've been stroking it weirdly to do the stamping, and now I've got like a. Can you guys see that? It's like just a little twisted bristle. I'm sure it'll work itself out. I'm gonna get spoiled using this for a stamping polish, and that's gonna be impossible to find because it's always on back order. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that nail's already done, so. Looks a little crooked, but that's just because that nail always looks crooked, no matter what. Whoa. <laughs> that weird stroke. <laughs> then you gotta then you gotta stroke it weirdly in a different fashion and get it to go back normal. <laughs> Oh, that's like sweet and sad at the same time, Daggett. Like, it's great that you guys do still get together, but it's kind of sad that it's like. It just gets harder and harder to get together in real life. That's why Twitch is so good. You should you guys should start just doing it online. Just do a do a fucking D and D multi stream somehow. She said, having absolutely no knowledge of anything about the situation. <laughs> I love I love being able to see through the clear stamper, but almost equally as much, I love being able to show you guys through the clear stamper. Back in the original days, stampers were opaque. Couldn't see shit. Didn't know what the hell's going on. Kids nowadays with their newfangled silicone stampers. Such precision placement. <laughs> wasn't possible in my day all right now again we got to make sure that we're sorry I got I gotta go off camera I gotta just try to there got it on the thumb I know I saw one giveaway on uh, Royalty Soaps was doing one. They had met her at uh, VidCon and they were they were selling Holo Taco at VidCon. So she got one for herself and one to do a giveaway with. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Adulting shit. 
Yeah, well, I was going to say, I have, I mean, I know very, very little about D&D in general, but let alone, like, what it takes to be, like, the uh, the dungeon master and, like, actually, like, be in charge of, like, you know, figuring out the campaign and, like, all that shit. Like, I know there's a lot to it. Maybe, maybe, are, are they still the ones that do it? Maybe could you guys have somebody else, like, organize it and do the DM so that you guys just had to get together and play Again, she said, as no, a person with still very minimal knowledge of the situation. Mm. Mm. And hard and low. <laughs> mm. I, I have kind of like, I mean, I knew about like soap and stuff. I, I'd seen some before, but like lately I've just been, I don't know. It's like a visual ASMR type of a situation. I just been watching so many soap videos they're so satisfying you guys you've never watched one some kind of good shit yeah well, I, I have no idea if he would be if he has time or interest or inclination to like dm for another group and i don't know if you actually know him but chocolate chip pancakes who hangs around sometimes has uh experience with DMing, you could ask him if he would like put together a campaign for you guys as a group and then you could just toss it on him like look you guys I got a campaign for us who's down look at me I'm so I'm so like busybody in your business today I'm sorry Daggett just ignore me let, let me figure out stuff for other people since I can't even figure out what fucking game I want to learn for the 12 hour challenge Soap making looks like something I could get absolutely hooked on. Dude, those those drop swirls and shit they be doing, it's like marbling. It's like 3D fucking marbling, dude. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the butt shop with their pay with their buddy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Pretty good butt spot. Stay on top of your game, man. Now, I've talked about it before. You saw it when I was cleaning up the bottom of my hands. I'm going to talk about it again. One coat black cleans up like no black I've ever dealt with before. In, in all the best ways. Like, it melts off of your skin melts mm. for those of you who don't know black polish as a very pigmented polish is usually hell to clean up it, it just gets it floods everywhere you end up with this gray acetone residue all over your skin and this is just really lovely You've made soap for music, Al. Cool. Sea glass brings to mind like blue and green colors. I do too, bro. I don't know why I just called you that instead of Karina. What I've been calling you Karina for like weeks now. I think it's because like my brain turns partly off. And then I just read what I see. But um... If you love him, you can get him on your channel. It's super easy. You can click on him, go to his profile. You can set the period of buttification. Or maybe you already had him. Do you have him on yours? I know some people don't, or like, are super not a fan of Buttspot. Like, they don't think he's funny. <laughs> but I really, I don't know. I think he's funny. The way this cleans up just is so damn satisfying. I mean, the orange is harder to clean up than the black. Who has ever heard of that? That was the other reason why I wasn't too worried about latex. 
Like, if I'm stamping with the difficult black or, you know, working with a color, another color that's really prone to being difficult, like reds, um, deep blues, those kind of colors, just really pigmented stuff, I would have wanted to do latex because the less clean up the better because it just would get everywhere. But with this... Like it's just not even it's it's not even a, a worry. It's not it's uh what's what's the it's not a problem anymore. Yeah. Okay. Just about done with the left hand. And I think I got these like very oh come on camera camera like the placement's really even like i've got that rim of black at the bottom of the flower like right next to the cuticle on almost every nail camera Ooh. of course it's hiding the flakies they are not hidden in real life i got a couple little spots like right here i don't think i want that there The thumb has a little bit of that too. Like it is on the design, but I don't think I want that there. Just want the tips to be like cleaner. I'm still not convinced that Ninja actually dislikes Buttspot. He treats Buttspot just like he treats Moon sometimes. Well, maybe not just like, but... So, so bickery, and we all know... Oops, I forgot to tape this hand. We all know that he likes Moon. Like likes her. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> all right. Oh, I was going to do a cone, wasn't I? Oh, well, too late. Man, it's getting getting kind of tricky. Yeah, every now and then he can like intrude on what should be a serious moment. Then again, maybe that's just what serious moments need to lighten them up, is a little bit of butt. Yeah, I really should have turned it off by now, but then, like, every time I think about turning it off, it's like, oh, I'll behave. I'm good now. Especially when I'm moving around a lot like I am right now. Because then it's like, if I put it on stationary focus, then we're just sitting out of focus also. Once I'm done with the tape, I'll probably turn off the autofocus, though. She's an awesome artist, Daggett. What did she make for you? Are they live yet? Hi, Luke. <laughs> Ah, oh, butt spot. How many people in chat right now has he greeted today as high butt? Like at least three. <laughs> it's like that has a higher combination of being buttified than other things. Luke, I can't decide what to do for the 12 hour challenge. <gasps> a bread mascot oh my god yes yes dag it fuck yes fuck okay for those who don't know dag it makes the sexiest damn loaves of bread out there every fucking week every week 
how come no bread stream yet i know it would have to be in like multiple parts but come on you could just you could have a camera on the oven while the bread baked and then you could just be like chatting with us and we could all just watch the the golden goodness happen moon's gonna do my emotes too i just i have too many ideas i have too many ideas i'm gonna get five i'm gonna replace a couple of the ones that i have right now well the ones that i have right now that i replace will be going to ffz you guys don't worry cloth is probably going to get replaced but she'll go to ffz um beanie and clark will stay because I think it's important to have my mascot as an emote, and then it seems unfair to not have his brother. But the other ones are probably all going to go. Like, I don't have that many. I have like six. I've already quote-unquote done Mario 1 for a 12-hour, and it didn't go well. That's part of my other problem. It's like, I don't know if I should pick a game that I've never beaten as a game to try and speedrun, which I have Mario 2, but it would fall into that category. I've never actually, like, beaten it regularly, so... <laughs> what kind of fucking balls do I have to, like, speedrun it? Um, I have Dr. Mario and Tetris, and I think Zelda 2 and... A boxing game, but I'm actually not sure if it's Punch Out or something else. And then I've got a few things like on my Genesis, but I was saying earlier that I have not actually confirmed that my Genesis is in working order. <laughs> like I've got it out, but I haven't actually connected it to the TV to see if there's anything to see. <laughs> um, and I don't have very many things for that either, so. And then, like, I've got some things, like, on Steam. But not all of them are, seem like games that you would want to speedrun. And then, like, the cheatiest, easiest way out would be for me to learn a new Hollow Knight category. But, like, the only category I kind of have left to learn is True Ending. And True Ending is really hard. I don't know if I want to learn True Ending. So I'm just, like... I'm I'm torn all around. I I've been thinking about it, but I guess I haven't put much thought into it. I know the twelve hour challenge always comes, you know, pretty like a month or, you know, three, four weeks after SGDQ. So I knew that it was upcoming. I just mm, <laughs> didn't actually plan. Oh, I'm I'm missing some. Oh, is it? Did Music Gal post her soaps? I'm gonna have to check that out after stream. Or did somebody post some others? <laughs> Dude, if you think the porch wouldn't 100 percent be there for that, bread strim. It would be like it would be like uh the Yule log, except we'd be watching the bread brown. Y'all down with the Yule log? You can't do. I don't know if you even could do that in, in twelve hours if you were knew what you were doing. I do actually have Stardew Valley, but I've never played it. Shovel Knight. There's a thought. I actually don't, but it's not that expensive, right? I wonder if I even have that on my wish list. I enjoyed watching Jerry play that. Yeah, I don't have SMB3, though. Plus, I mean, that would also still fall under the category I've never beat before. I mean, I've beaten very few games ever in my life. I'm not, I'm not a good gamer. I'm the kid that always like wanted to play games and fucking never had games. And the games that I had, I was never really very good at because I just didn't understand. (laughs) 
Luke, I'm 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 going to I'm gonna death no. Even if it was, I don't know how much of that I could like actually play because just watching your playthrough was like it's so swingy. Like the camera is just like woo, woo. I feel like I would I would not be able to go fast because I would be too busy trying to just like not be having vertigo. Just doing a little bit of around the top edge clean up here. Like right, right in there. Those little baby corner spots. <laughs> God, if I ever barf on stream, I, I, man, that'd be so bad. I would I would cut stream beforehand, I think, or at least hopefully cut cam, or at least hopefully mute the microphone. It's getting like lower and lower bars as to what would be a successful on stream barf barf event. <laughs> Let's just stop talking about this. Mm. I I thought about that, but isn't the PC port considered to be kind of bullshit? Or am I wrong? Or is there not a PC port and there's just uh, emulator stuff, which would be like a whole nother tunnel for me to go down. <laughs> please! Please try! Alright. So... I'm I'm getting kind of like almost a henna vibe from these, like not in the color, but kind of like the pattern. I I like it a lot. Let's get one more coat of a uh, top coat on here. <clears throat> Once you're done with all the cleanup, you can finish with another layer of top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Oh, that's really making it nice and smooth. This is another one that's kind of... I don't know if I would quite say outside of my comfort box. But it's definitely a little bit outside of my lane, as they say. Because you guys know, I mean, I'm just more likely to go for, like, purples and blues and greens than I ever am to go for an orange or a pink. The uh, the pink design, which I ended up calling, uh, the hell, graduated pink dot or something super generic, I think. I got really sick of, of that as, like, time wore on. Like, some manicures, you know, grow on you in a good way. That one, I just, every day I hated it a little more. Well, maybe not hated it, but liked it less. Less and less, 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 until there was no like left at all. <laughs> so top coat not top coat i mean it just brings it just mm. thank you yo and amethyst and everybody and luke and son and bro karina <laughs> do, 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 do. the wonderful unwritten return so I wonder if I would be able to beat Mario 2 for the first time in like 12 hours. I I don't necessarily object to that. I mean, that's kind of what I was going to do for Mario 1 the first time through. Is Mario 2 easier than Mario 1? Got 
got kind of an unclean cuticle on this one. How did I, how did I miss that? Hold on. BR, BRB to camera. Hmm. Let me done recording too. <clears throat> Bucking Bronco. Well, that doesn't sound like it has any potential to like knock things off the shelves or anything, Amethyst. <laughs> um, I don't I don't think I actually mentioned which which Sega games I have. I have like Sonic two. I don't remember if I ever had Sonic one or if I did like what happened to it, but I now only have Sonic two, Sonic Spinball. Which actually is in the very short list of games which I have beat in my in my gamer life. Um, Eternal Champions. Uh, a puzzle game called Zoop. And then on the Sega CD I have the other, the second Eternal Champions and like two Echo the Dolphin games and a Jurassic Park game and a, and a boxing game of some sort. I really like how this turned out, you guys. One is easier than two? Well, fuck. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's like, not encouraging to hear, because... <laughs> Oh, you guys. It's very juicy. We've gotten very far away from this tone of orange, I will say, but... In a positive way. Um, so what is this? Orange, orange flaky flower stamping? Orange, orange flower stamping? Bright orange flaky stamping. What kind of a flower does this look like? Kind of like a, uh, kind of like a nasturtium, but most people probably aren't going to know what the fuck a nasturtium is. <clears throat> Juicy orange. It is juicy. I wish you guys could see more of the flakies. I'm also debating right now if I should record the intro and the outro or if I should do that after I'm done streaming. Because we're gonna... Okay, what time is it? It's 4.13. We we have to decide what we're doing. Um the second one I think, music yeah? But I'm not sure of the spelling, actually. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Just hold perfectly still. That's not what I want to do though. I wanna like show you guys the the glow of the flakies in there underneath of the stamping. Oh, it's actually cooperating. Knock on imaginary wood. Oh, it's 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 very pretty. I think I'll probably I'll I'll record the intro and outro off camera because for some reason, even though I do everything else on camera, it makes me feel really weird to do the intro and outro on camera. Yeah. (sighs) 
this this will be i suppose i could like make myself a mental note this is the end of the nail stream and the start of what's trying to be a game stream 